Welcome to Positively Vetting Atheism number three, the Cambrian Explosion. Many creationists and religious people highlight the Cambrian Explosion as an example of something that is improbable, something so improbable that it suggests and begs the invocation of a god. They feel the Cambrian Explosion lacks an explanation for what's happening, so by default, they wish to resort to God did it as an explanation for something they feel lacks one. This canard rests on the presupposition that it needs a miracle to spark the new, varied, and voluminous species that came about in a seemingly all of a sudden fashion. This ignores the rather gigantically important fact that life had been evolving for three billion years. That gradual evolution makes the Cambrian explosion not only explainable, but utterly plausible from a natural process standpoint. The Cambrian explosion can be laid to rest as needing a divine designer because it had ancestral history. So that means there's no need to think life appeared out of the blue. 3.8 billion years ago, we had the earliest bacterial fossils. 3.5 billion years ago, we had simple single cell bacteria. 2.9 billion years ago, we had fossil archaea bacteria. 2.5 billion years ago, we had the first eukaryotic cells. 1.7 billion years ago, we had multicellular eukaryotic fossils. 1.2 billion years ago, we had higher algae forms. And 650 million years ago, we had idiocarum fauna. In highlighting the above ancestral history, it shows that there was no all of a sudden to the Cambrian explosion. So there is no need for a religious god or some such spirituality to spark the creation of life or the accelerated variety of it. The next and final step is a needed explanation of why. The fall of global temperatures and the oxygenation of the biosphere caused by photosynthesis played a major role in the dramatic change in the availability of heavy elements that were crucial to the metabolic processes that led to the evolution of complex life. This metal-rich environment served as a catalyst. Since over 70% of known enzymes contain metal ions as a cofactor of an active site, fast catalyzed reactions segregated life first dynamically and then structurally from the mineral realm. Once simple prokaryotic cells gave rise to complex eukaryotic cells, life was off and running, resulting quite naturally in the Cambrian eruption of complex hard body organisms. In conclusion, the just articulated explanation of why the Cambrian explosion happened gives a thorough and scientifically vetted reason for its origin and makes resorting to God a mystery, which is so often employed by theists and creationists in regards to this chapter of our planet's history, totally unnecessary.